Hello, princesses, and welcome back to Not Fit for Print Beauty with me, Rebecca. Today we are here to do a top 10 ranking of my all-time favorite lip glosses. That's right, all the way from number 10 to number one, my favorite all-time lip gloss. You see, the, over the past few days, I've been kind of going through my makeup and my lipstick drawers and trying to do a little bit of cleaning up, and I have a lot of lip gloss. Part of that is because I just simply have a lot of lip gloss. And the other part of that is that I really am not a lipstick person. And what I mean by that is it's very rare. I don't know about you. You can comment below. It's very rare that I reach for a tube of lipstick. I will generally reach for a lip gloss. And uh, if it's an extra special occasion, I'll use a lip pencil followed by a lip gloss. So very rarely do I reach for lipsticks. In fact, I'm going to do a collection video or two coming up. You will be surprised how little comparatively uh, lipsticks figure in my collection. I'm just not that into them. But boy, I feel like I've gathered a lot of information and certainly educated opinion on lip glosses. So we're going to Now the first thing that I had to do was get super organized. I wanted to do the top 10, not the top 40. Nobody has patience for that. So I had to decide what kind of lip gloss I wanted to center this ranking on. And I chose good old fashioned doe foot applicator lip glosses, the kind that you dip into the tube and pull up. The reason I did that is it automatically excluded a lot of lip gloss hybrids and made this list a little bit easier to control. For instance, the Hourglass Lip Oil is a beautiful glossy lip gloss, so to speak, but it has this kind of an applicator, so I got to exclude it, making my life easier. I excluded things like the Charlotte Tilbury Hyaluronic Happy Kiss, which is definitely beautiful and glossy, but doesn't fit my requirements. I got to exclude things like the Divinal Lip Shine from Pat McGrath. And even the Victoria Beckham Posh lipsticks, which a lot of people say are so glossy, they are almost like a gloss or a balm. There's quite a few in there that I was able to take out because they have elements of gloss and elements of lipstick in them. So we stuck to just old fashioned glosses. Now, before we get started, I would love to play a little bit of a game of sorts. Drop a comment below. Take a moment. Drop a comment below guessing what you think my favorite or even your favorite of all time lip gloss is. So stick that in the comments below and then you can either edit your comment or add another one afterwards telling me why you guessed right or why you maybe think I was wrong. There are going to be glosses I leave off the list. Would love to hear your comments below. Honorable mention, by the way, to the Scott Barnes Flossy Glossy, um, which is um, kind of my number 11 honorable mention. Not quite good enough to make the list, but a really nice lip gloss nonetheless. And you can comment below if you think I was wrong that it didn't make my top 10. All right, let's get into this. Number 10, starting off as my worst of the best, is the Natasha Denona Lip Euphoria. This is a $26 lip gloss and of course it meets my little criteria here. Um, I am not going to swatch these because we're not really talking about shades. We're talking about formula and we're talking about color payoff and how you know how pretty it is. The lip euphorias were number 10 on my list only because actually of the shades we could have gotten a little bit better uh, shade coverage with these. They're certainly interesting and she definitely has that kind of orange hybrid duochrome one that is super cool and interesting but she didn't take the collection really far so that made number 10 on my list number nine are all sorts of glosses by your friend and mine charlotte tilbury starting with the 22 dollars lip luster i find this they come it comes in a lot of shades it's really pretty it fits my little doe foot applicator deal requirement, etc., etc. But it is gloopy and not in a good gloopy way. We'll talk about good gloopy in a little bit. Miss BB, I hope you're listening out there. We uh, this is this is you know it's 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 okay. This is not Charlotte Tilbury's best product. Um, the Jewel Lips, the Lip 
bath, the collagen lip bath. They're okay. This barely made it. I mean, look, it's got the, it's, that's a doe foot. It's heart shaped. You know, they're okay. I don't think that Charlotte Tilbury's glosses are the best product she makes. I, I think they're good and they're nice, but I, 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 when I think of a lip gloss, I don't go, Ooh, Charlotte Tilbury, right? Tell me if you do because I doubt that you do. And I use the lip jewels because I have a bunch of them and I use them, but they are not what I think of and get excited. Natasha Denona or Charlotte Tilbury, they really were 10 and nine on my list. Really for that reason, when you think of amazing lip glosses, you don't go Charlotte Tilbury, Natasha Denona. Mm -mm. Maybe uh, eyeshadows, of course, maybe even lipsticks for sure. But lip gloss, nah, no. All right, number eight, I was really impressed by the very pretty formulas in the Rare Beauty Stay Vulnerable collection. These are just average, nice lip glosses. The Rare uh, selections are $18, which is, you know, for mid to high end, a fairly good price. Most of these are actually all in the same price range because, you know, they check on each other, of course, right? They do, except for one, but we'll get to that. So the Rare Beauty, um, Stay Vulnerable, the, the lip glosses went with the rest of the collection, which was offered in just a few different shades, and they made kind of a monochromatic look. They are very comfortable, very pretty, very wearable, $18 lip gloss. They made my number eight. They are very nice. Number seven, same idea, Sephora staple, Mario, Makeup by Mario. He has his Pro Volume Lip Gloss for $22. Comes in some very pretty colors. And I find that I reach for this Mario gloss to put over a lot of different, um, you know, just to make, if I have a, a lip pencil that's a really pretty kind of color, and I just want to give it a little bit of oomph, I like the way this Mario wears. It's it's thin, it's comfortable, and it's it doesn't really take over the look, but just adds the right amount of shine. And I like it just that much better than the Rare. Since the Rare Beauty lip gloss is with the Stay Vulnerable collection, it's limited for shades. Um, Makeup by Mario has a few more, and they're fairly interesting shades. So that is why he made number seven, and Rare is at number eight. Not a bad proj product. Another really good, reliable gloss for $22 is the Patrick Ta Major Glow Gloss. This also only comes in a few colors, but they're sparkly, they're pretty, they do not steal the show, but when I have a lipstick that's a little bit boring, or just a kind of a nice flat matte lip pencil, I can throw the Patrick Ta Major Glow Lip Gloss over the top, and it just makes it really pretty and just adds a little bit of depth. And because Patrick Ta does make amazing lip products, I gave him the honor of the slot of number six, just ahead of Mario. Okay, number five. This is my favorite lip glosses of all time. So even if you're number 10, that's still pretty high on the list, to be honest. And I am giving the number five position. I bet you would never guess this would be on the list unless you've tried it, and then you'll see what I mean. The Viseart Moisture Boost. This is a $19 lip gloss. Very affordable in terms of the glosses that we're talking about. They are comfy. This is the um, petal color. They are comfortable. They are wearable. They are pretty. They have just enough of a kind of a little kick of a shade to them. And Viseart is not known for their glosses. They are, of course, known for their shadows. Their Moisture Boost $19 lip glosses are excellent, and I really encourage you to check them out. They come in, oh, just a handful of colors, but they are all really, really pretty, and pretty enough and comfortable enough, especially if you like a nice, kind of thin, wearable, non-sticky gloss. This Viseart product is absolutely wonderful, which is why I gave it the number five position. So the Hourglass Lip Oil didn't make it on, but the Hourglass High Shine Lip Gloss did. This is a $30, so it's getting a little bit pricier. Um, Charlotte Tilbury's Jewel Lips is 32, actually, I didn't mention. So this is right underneath it. The Hourglass High Shine fits my little category here. It's got a really nice wide doe foot applicator, tremendous amounts of color choices, $30, getting a little bit pricier, but it is hourglass. Beautiful sparkle, stands on its own or over a lipstick or over a lip pencil. And the color choice is amazing. It is comfortable, just thick enough. 
I actually wear the halo color, which is not the color I'm holding. The halo color is the clear with just a little bit of shiny sparkle to it. And it is my actual go-to on a daily basis when I just want to add a little bit of shine over something matte. Um, I don't know why I changed the look of matte lipstick, but I do. Sometimes you just don't feel like a matte, but the color is pretty. And I rely on that halo by Hourglass quite often. It is my number four of all time, which I think is a pretty high spot. Have you guessed what number one would be yet, by the way? Drop a comment what you guess number one will be. If you don't guess, you'll kick yourself because you'll go, I should have guessed. Okay. We're on number three. Number three is the most expensive lip gloss on my list. It is the Tom Ford Gloss Lux and it is they go for $55. Now, why in the world is the Tom Ford Gloss 55 when you have others on the list that are 18, 19, 20, even 30? Because he's Tom Ford and Tom Ford does what Tom Ford wants. And who are we to question it? That's it, it's Tom Ford. So he, his glasses are going to be $55, like it or lump it. The Gloss Lux are beautiful. You do also pay for the packaging. Check out the stunning packaging. It's just really heavy. I mean, you really feel, there's the gloss itself, the shade. You really feel like you have a luxury product in your hand. And just the way it wears and feels, I'm not just saying this because it's Tom Ford. These are beautiful glosses. The Aura color is that like perfect nude shade with just the right amount of shine. They last, they're comfortable, they feel good in your hand, and they are expensive, but they are amazing. I put this at number three simply because of the expense. Um, I couldn't give it like a number one slot, but it is my number three. These are beloved glosses, and if you own any, you know what I mean. Number two, the Pat McGrath Lip Lust. As you see, I am wearing it today. It is just enough shine, just enough sparkle, an amazing amount of colors in the collection. They are innovative colors, interesting colors, super fun colors. This is just thin enough to feel like a, just a little added layer and just thick enough to last without catching your hair and things like that in it. I am a huge fan of these glosses. They go for $28. So slightly higher than some of our others, but not in the Tom Ford range. Um, and they are just so innovative and pretty. You've got to see all the different shades that she has. And I am, like I said, wearing it today. Okay, that brings us all the way to my favorite glosses of all time. Uh, come on, I know you guys guessed, right? It is for price, for wearability, for shine, for color selection. Just hands down winner, it is the Fenty Gloss Bomb. Did you guess, did you guess? There is a, here's a Fenty Cream Gloss Bomb. There's also the Fenty Gloss Bomb, the original. And for $18, even more effective, the Fenty Pro Kisser, which also fits into my criteria here because it has a doe foot and is $18, whereas the Gloss Bomb and the Cream Gloss Bomb are $19. Totally affordable. Now these are on a little bit of the thicker side, so some people find that uncomfortable. So worth it. The colors are gorgeous. This is really that lipstick lip gloss payoff for someone like me who reaches for gloss more than lipstick. These are, I, I, you cannot do a gloss better than Fenty. Earlier in this video, I mentioned that I just don't think gloss when I think Natasha Denona or when I think Charlotte Tilbury. Fenty? I think gloss. When you say Fenty, I have that image of those beautiful, juicy, fun, affordable, even when we're talking about this range, lip color. Fenty is it. Did you guess? Did you guess? Okay, that is my top 10 list of lip glosses. What's yours? What did I leave out? Remember my criteria. You do need to stick with one in your uh, comments below that have a doe foot applicator, because that was what we were working with here. So I'd love to hear what you think I left out. Where would you change my list? What would you what would you put as number one if you didn't choose the Fenty? How could you not choose Fenty? But maybe you didn't. I would love to hear what your list is below. Give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it, and I hope you did. And if you haven't already done so, make sure you subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.